Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be installing a BD Diesel Throttle Sensitivity Booster version 3.0. BD Diesel has come out with their version 3.0 of the Throttle Sensitivity Booster. This is a really, really nice unit. Super sleek, very small. Uh, one input on your installation here it plugs up at your uh, APPS. But, you know, BD has been in the throttle, sensitiv throttle sensitivity booster game for a while. Uh, they were one of the first ones to do it. They have come up with this version just to take advantage of all the technological advances that are out there. So if you're watching this, this is an installation video of this throttle sensitivity booster. Now we're going to link you inside this video somewhere to our unboxing and explanation of this video and also where you can purchase this product. This works on many diesel applications light duty and it works on a ton of gas applications. We're going to show you that today as well. We're working on a 2016 Ram 1500 with 5.7 Hemi in it. Going to be installing this throttle sensitivity booster. Now our unboxing and explanation video really tells you about the power levels of this, but I'm going to give you a real uh, quick overview of this. So there's four power levels on here. So the first uh, power level that you're going to have on the APPS is going to be uh, the street mode, which is going to be plus 50% better thro uh, 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 throttle sensitivity. Then you have uh, the uh, uh, sorry, you have the performance mode. Is that right, Adam? No, it's, uh, yes, yeah, no, it's sport, sport, which is 75% better throttle, uh, which is 75% better throttle sensitivity. And then you have race, which is 100, and you have ludicrous, Luda, which is 300% better throttle sensitivity. And golly, throttle sensitivity booster is a mouthful to say. So never mind my Kentucky talk. This is a good product. Don't let me screw it up for you if you're looking to buy one. So we're going to show you how to install one today on this gas 1500 2016 Dodge. To, be, to begin installation of our throttle sensitivity booster, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we've had the key off for five minutes. If the key's been off for five minutes, that lets the ECM come to rest, go to sleep, and then once we unhook the, um, the APPS, or I'm going to say the throttle position sensor, it won't throw any codes for that. So. This customer does not want to mount this permanently in the truck. So with these Dodges, we're gonna let it sit on top of the steering column and they're completely fine with that. But this is all connected to one unit so it doesn't disconnect to get skinny to, for your installation here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and shimmy this down through my steering column. If it'll go real quick, we'll just push it down through there. And what I'll do is I'll shimmy that on through and then that's gonna give me my my head unit, my throttle sensitivity portion, I'm just gonna put it right there on top of the steering column. This you're gonna have to see because there's a plus and a minus and that's how you switch through your power levels. We'll show you that on our ride along and when we start it up. All right, so we've got our wiring harness down here. Now I'm gonna show you where your throttle position sensor is. All right, we've already fed our cord through and I'm gonna to try to do this first person for you. We've already fed our cord through for our throttle sensitivity booster. And now what we're looking for is the TPS sensor or the APPS sensor, however you wanna view it. And if you see here, here's our throttle pedal right here. Directly above that, you can see there is one wire on there. That is your APPS that sensor that you will have to unhook. So. I'm going to try to be real crafty here and hold the camera while I reach up here and unhook this. Just got one clip on it. And switch hands there. There it's came off. All right. So we got our harness unhooked. Now what we do is we go ahead and hook the male end of our th throttle sensitivity booster uh, back to that and push it until it clicks. And then the female end from the throttle sensitivity booster, make sure that the red locking tab is up. Want to push it on to the throttle position sensor and then push the red locking tab down just like so and now it's installed. Now BD comes with some zip ties to tie this up and we will get to that in just a second. But what we want to do now, now that we're hooked up, is we want to go back to our head unit and we want to turn the truck on. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to hand the camera back to Adam so he can take the camera. Adam, if you could take the camera, please. 
So Adam's gonna take the camera and he's going to help me to zoom in on this after I get the truck started. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna show you the sweep process to be able to set the AI on this so the truck is learning the throttle position sensor. So you just turn the key on on the truck, but don't turn the truck on. And while it's flashing, push the throttle all the way to 100% and let off. Push the throttle to 100% and let off. Push throttle to 100% and let off again, just like that. It'll stop blinking, and once it stops blinking, that means it's learned, everything's good to go. You wanna make sure that you have no uh, check engine lights in the dash, so we're gonna go ahead and start. No check engine lights, we're good to go. Throttle sensitivity booster sits at rest with the speedometer up there, so we're gonna show you how to work through the power levels here. So you push the up, and that goes into, I guess that's race. Gonna hit it again. Let's go down. That is the sport mode. There's the street mode. There's the economy mode. Now the economy mode is gonna be 25% uh, less throttle. It's supposed to get you better fuel economy. And then the this is off or stock. Street. Uh, sport. Doesn't look like we have loot on here. So then that'll be back to valet. So I think with this vehicle, we're not gonna get the valet position is the way that I'm taking this. So now let me show you uh, to turn the throttle off completely. To turn the throttle off completely, you press and hold both the uh, minus and the plus button. And that should get you into a security mode. So you see it flashed the red. So we got no throttle response there. So the security mode, that's cool. To turn that off, we press it again, hold the, the minus and the plus, and it should go off. Just like that. Now we're back where we need to be. So we're good to go. So this truck only goes up to race to 100% better throttle position, uh, and that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take a little drive here and see what kind of difference it made classic example of why you should always read your instruction book because I thought that that was that was just as easy as it was so we have two modes on here we didn't show you we didn't show you ludicrous luda so to get to luda you have to go to race and then press and hold the plus button then it takes you over to rocket ship level that means we're 300 percent better throttle position that's great all right now to get to valet mode Valet mode, you go here to economy mode and press and hit, and hit the minus button. And that's valet. Valet, you're gonna have the red light that's on constantly. For the uh, security lock, which is no throttle, then, it, you ha then it's a flashing one. So we're good to go there. Let's get out of it. Soon we have to go hold the minus button. Now we're, we're good to go there. So to get back out of it, you just hold the minus. To get into Luda, you just hold the plus. So you're doing it again. There's 300%. But to get out of that, you can just hit minus. So, all right, Adam's gonna jump in. We're gonna take a little ride. All right, so just a little ride along here on our throttle sensitivity booster, how we like it. I've got it on stock right now. Stock is pressing the minus button until all the lights go off. As, as, when that happens, you're at stock. So I'm gonna go from here to this next road. And just so I know, cause I've never driven this truck before. So I know now what the stock throttle feels like. So we're gonna cut away and we're gonna come back. We're gonna do the same path, but we're gonna do it in the 100% better throttle mode. We're gonna go right to race and see what it's like. We're on our next little test run here. Same thing, we're going to push the plus symbol until it comes back on. And then we're gonna go up to the checkered flags there, which is race mode. And this is 100% better throttle. Oh, that's completely different. That's a completely different truck. Um, so this is 100% better throttle response. You can definitely tell it too. I mean, it is a completely different truck. I never drove this truck. This is uh, our order management 
manager's truck, uh, five seven Hemi, and really didn't know what to expect here, but completely different truck. I mean, absolutely completely different truck in as far as the off idle throttle response is completely different. So, you know, you've got a couple of different modes here too. You've got your sport mode, your economy mode. The economy mode is actually going to decrease your throttle response, but should get you better uh, fuel economy. Uh, so we'll try all the different modes there, but I'm not going to bore you with this because I, I'm going to do what everybody wants us to do. We got to put it in ludicrous mode. We got to see what Luda is going to do. So let's go over here, get turned around, try not to bounce Adam out of the seat. Quick little whoop de doo This is a little, uh, I think a military establishment in it. Adam, we're not actually supposed to be here. Turn around. So there's big signs there where it say, don't turn around here. All right. Let's go to Luda. So to go to Luda, ludicrous mode, you just press and hold the plus button until the rocket ship starts blinking at you. Rocket ship's blinking. That means this is Luda. Adam, are you ready? You ready? I'm ready. Golly. <laughs> well, ludicrous mode works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a little sensitive too, but now this module is AI, so it's always learning throttle positions as you're going as well. So it'll get um, it's it will get itself lined out as to throttle positions and, and where it's at and what it does. So but Luda definitely works. You really gotta watch it. It's it's super sensitive. I mean it's super sensitive. I'm I'm just thinking about touching the throttle and we're running 65 miles an hour, so. All right, BD diesel, throttle sensitivity booster. Does it work? Absolutely it works. We're gonna give this one a thumbs up. Super easy install, you saw. As far as platforms that this works for, uh-oh, there's the owner's wife. We're gonna go ahead and let her out. We're gonna let her out. Come on out, Big Craig. Let's see if she can do it, folks. Did she wave? I don't know if she waved or not. Anyway, all right. So yeah, uh, lots of different platforms that this works for. This is still in Luda mode, so I'm trying not to get sideways here. Uh, diesel platforms, most all the light duty diesels are covered. Check our website for applications. Uh, now there's a lot, a lot, a lot of gas vehicles this, this works for as well. So uh, don't think that it just because it's a BD diesel product, it's not gonna work for gas. We've shown you it works on a 2016 for sure, Hemi, and there's tons of others that it works for. So. I'm Wade, and Adam's in the passenger seat next to me on the camera. I dang near gave him whiplash and Luda mode. Uh, check out the other videos associated with the throttle sensitivity booster. We're going to link you to those and link you to a page to buy it. Thanks, thanks for watching.